Good morning, beautiful people. We are here at the archery range. Um, I got a new little chesty. I got to strap up. Well, not not GoPro chest camera thing, but you know, like a like a binocular holder and radar rangefinder. So we're gonna put some shots down range. Keep working on our accuracy. Set up this bad boy, and we're here to talk about is San Diego the hardest deer hunting spot in America. Stay tuned and we'll find out. All right, so shoot some arrows. Oh, correction, not hardest place to hunt in the United States, but for sure California. I got this little book, man. I'm trying to adjust my 20 something. Oh, never mind. It actually, turned out pretty good. <laughs> Check it out. So, 20. I mean, should not. I mean, it's okay, but it shouldn't be that spread out from only this far away. Is this way better? This way. Apparently, it's all the same. <laughs> okay. Good morning again, everybody. All right. So we're here to shoot some arrows, and we're also here to talk about is San Diego. Is San Diego, I was gonna say county, is San Diego, I guess county, is San Diego County the hardest spot to hunt deer in California? Okay, I have this book right here, so you know I'm not throwing out any crazy numbers, okay? So Big Game California 2018, okay? What this book shows us is it shows us the percentages of, um, of um, percentages of Oh my God, man, I, I, I'm always saying I'm at a loss for words. I, need, I really, really need to read the dictionary. It shows us the successful harvest percentages of all the areas within California, okay? So we're just gonna dive into this real quick. We're gonna look at it. I need to get my chest um, piece hooked up as well. So shoot some arrows, have some facts, have a little bit of conversation, a little bit of a debate maybe. And uh, yeah, let's have a good day. All right, so here we have the 2018 deer zones and additional hunts, okay? So this is all of California. As you can see, colors mean stuff and these little numbers here mean stuff too. All right, um, to my knowledge, G's are military bases, A's are archery only, and J's are apprentice. And the only reason I know that is because it says right here. <laughs> oh, G's are general, I'm sorry. All right, so here's California, like I was saying. You got your zones, D17, D9, D10, blah, blah, blah. X9, um, yep, okay. So I'm down here, here's San Diego, because it says it. All right, so A22, G13, and M6. Uh, M6 is muzzle loading, there's more. Okay, here's your county and all that stuff. Okay, so I hunt San Diego, I hunt D16, and then I did not get an A22 tag, right? So what an A22 tag is, I could shoot both sexes. San Diego, A22. San Diego archery either sex, deer hunt, okay? And then there is G10, which is actually where I am currently sitting. So I'm a D15 technically. But G10 is a uh, Camp Pendleton, okay? Camp Pendleton, either sex, military hunt only as well, okay? So getting right into it. I'm gonna flip this boy this way. Okay, so we're looking for percentages, guys. Okay, so for the A22 area, all right, so here we are. This is um, the 2017 estimated hunter success. All right, hunt code, it shows you the areas, the hunt title, okay, and the tag code, okay? So 2017, all right, as you're going down, all right, so this is the success rate. So we got 15, 44, oh shit, zero. Okay, maybe never mind. Maybe San Diego isn't the hardest. Okay, 21, 16, 12, 3%, Jesus, 1%. 59%, 13%, 6%, okay? So San Diego, for either sex, is 6%. And the tag quota this year is 1,000, and it looked like it was filled um, quick. I think that's what it means. They quote, oh, Jesus, yeah, that was early. Okay, here's a here deer hunting season. So I'm in a little break right now, kind of, and I'll show you what that kind of means in a second. So October 14th, oh, no, I can't hunt. Okay, whatever. Okay, never mind. Okay, so, 822, so either sex. So people who are going for both male and female deer, you know, 
bucks or does only had a six percent success rate that's pretty crazy but as you also see um you know some people only had one percent but that's not either sex some people had zero percent and that's uh that's not either sex either so okay so pretty difficult all right we got seven either sex la la county okay all right then we're at the restricted deer hunts all right so this is general zone so this means rifles as well okay um don't worry about the b i know it says general archery only so okay d16 right that's where we're at all right general and archery buck all right so you can only go for bucks all right we did 12 percent success rate last year all right that's it's pretty low okay and look you see these all these little codes down here d16 good access public lands higher elevation blah 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 okay um area specific nothing in here i want to show you guys the um the g10 okay so this is the tag i bought all right, AO. So this allows me to hunt um, any zone as long as it's open, okay? All across California is, is good, all right? So last year, out of all of California for archery only, which is what I do again, there's only a 10% success rate. So only 10% of the entire archery population of California harvested a buck or harvested a deer. I guess both, okay? Okay, so this book also shows us the deer hunt dates, all right? Okay, so in G13... Uh, Oop, sorry. And G13, which is San Diego, okay, um, success was 22, okay, so that, 22%. Okay, so that also includes, since this is a general method, it also includes the rifles to my knowledge, right? So here's the hunt season, okay? So I'm going back to this. So this hunt season doesn't start until October 27th to November uh, 18th, okay? So then, because I'm an archer, there's some roll, I guess rollover dates or combined dates, okay? So here's A22 again. And um, there's a break, so I can't start hunting again until November 17th, okay? Here's D D16, because I, I have the AO tag, I can hunt through any of these seasons, all right? 12% success rate, okay? So September 23rd, okay, then there's a break for about a month, and then October 27th to uh, November 25th, okay? But if we go back to the A22 tag, I could hunt all the way until from November 17th until um, December 31st. And this book isn't showing it, but the G10 tag where I'm at right now, which is Camp Pendleton, they don't have a break. It's from September 1st all the way to I think like November, like November 27th or something. So I could hunt here, which I will be next weekend most likely. I could hunt here. Um, so with the AO tag pretty, pretty much allows me to hunt all the way to the end of the year. September 1st, December 31st, there might be like a week break here and there, but that's pretty much it guys okay so um that's it this book also tells you a bunch of cool stuff i mean it tells you the percentages of um of pointed bucks harvested so as i'm flipping through here very slowly so archery only i mean that's kind of spread out though so just looking at it real quick here, i'll show you guys so so you don't think i'm making up numbers all right so <clears throat> harvest by antler class okay so zones archery only hard to specify really but okay so we go d16 out of the total bucks harvested which was 279 58 percent were two points 32 percent were three points uh 8.6 were four points and 1.1 percent only were five point or greater okay um they also have a22 in here so for archers it's kind of that's kind of interesting though because you know it's either sex here but you got 2.38 3.19 four point um 14 and five point or greater 4.8 so last year's harvest was 21 percent. all right and then um what did i say g10 which is where we're at currently camp pendleton all right so shoot it's pretty so only 20 buck were harvested here on camp pendleton last year it's really low and i've already seen two but so boom 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 cool oh and then g12 that's us also san diego's g12 right one of them I hope it's not G13. Jesus. <laughs> it's a G12. God damn, look at that. Only three bucks were harvested last year? Holy crap. Is that right? That can't be right. Where's that map? Where's that map? Map, map, map. Oh, no, we're G... Wait, what? G13? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Where are we going? That caught me off guard a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, really? That is us. Only one buck was harvested here in the G. The j -j 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 -j. Good lord. 
All right, guys, never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> so the G, the general session, San Diego is ant antlerless deer. That's what that is. So what that is specifically, I honestly don't know. I just know you have bucks, does, fawns. So I don't know what antlerless is. But yeah, okay, I'm going to get this chest piece strap, do a little more shooting. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the video. I mean, I showed you my chest piece, right? Or my binocular chest. So what that is is... Whoop, 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 whoop. Sorry, my finger got caught in my, uh, my triggers. So it's going to sit right here. I mean, I guess I'll show you when it's all hooked up. So it's going to sit right here, and then my binos will sit in here, and then my rangefinder will sit right here. All right, so I don't... Um, Jesus Christ. Horrible filming day. Um, oh, check out my new hat. Muley Freaks. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> What was I saying? See, it's easier because if I'm stalking... Because right now my rangefinder is attached to my actual backpack, and that's a bitch to stalk with. So if I ever am stalking something, I'll only need that because at least I have my range finder. All right, so let me hook that up and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I have the bases of it set up. Um, but after putting this on and trying to put my binos in it, it now looks like I am selling a pair of binoculars because they won't fit, which is fine. I was looking at new ones anyway. Um, they're kind of bulky, but it's pretty much what it is. So your binos come in here. It's magnetic. Just jump down in there. Okay. Then um, you have your range finder on the side. So if you're like going, right? Instead of, so it was on my backpack and I was just dangling around. So I don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to bring my backpack with me. So now I just have it right here. Since it's magnetic, just pull it off. I right, just come and check it out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And when I'm done, I put it back on, magnet. Um, there's gonna be a strap and everything too, an elastic strap, which there is. I just wanna shoot some arrows. It's taking longer than expected. <laughs> Uh, that's it, guys. I'm going to keep shooting. Um, super short video. No hunting this weekend. Possibly catfishing tomorrow. So stand by for a video tomorrow and or Monday. I got Jacob with me. We're going to a pumpkin patch today. And, um, yeah, make sure you check out my Insta story or my Instagram at MikeRogers.com, D-O-T-com. And you get more updated um, stuff throughout the weekend, throughout the weekends as well, all right? Thanks for watching. As always, make sure you drop a like, comment, and always, as always, click subscribe. Check you guys out next time. Peace. Why are we waiting for nothing?